Good morning, welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Monday, April 23rd, 2012. Questions are being asked in Holland today about why two packed commuter trains hit head on, injuring scores of people. The collision occurred on Saturday, fortunately. It was not a uh, main business day. It uh, closed all rail traffic between the Amsterdam Central Station and Schiphol Airport, which is one of Europe's busiest hubs. Uh, one woman was killed. Locomotives uh, yesterday towed away the trains. The Dutch are investigating whether it was human or technical error. Last night on 60 Minutes in the United States, there was a big expose noting that not yet, not one individual has been prosecuted for the Lehman Brothers collapse. Well, things are very different in Iceland. Today, the uh, former prime minister, Geir Hard, who pleaded uh, innocent to all four charges of negligence regarding managing the country's financial crisis in 2008, his fate is going to be revealed. He could receive up to three years in prison, believe it or not. Uh, the banking sector in Iceland ballooned to nine times the nation's annual gross domestic product back in the heady days of the early 2000s. Um, the former prime minister said that neither he nor the financial regulators saw it coming. In France, Francois Hollande looks as if uh, he's going to be the next president of France. He won the first round of uh, the contest against current President Nicolas Sarkozy on May 6th. This is the final round. Polls are showing that Hollande will still win by about 10 percentage points. Front page story in yesterday's New York Times said that the world's largest retailer, Walmart, has admitted that it has paid $24 million in bribes in Mexico as it was opening stores left and right throughout the country. The report also indicated that higher management in the company, all the way at the board level, had tried to quash the investigation. American justice authorities are now on the case. AM Best came out with a uh, story today, actually a report, indicating that the current slight uptick in reinsurance rates may be only uh, a blip on the radar screen, and that in fact the soft market may not be over. They said that history has shown that the market has a short memory and all these claims that we've been seeing uh, quickly may fade in public memory and the soft market will continue. On the plus side, they did note that uh, uh, a number of primary companies have been retaining more and more exposure and thus impo uh, exposing themselves to greater risk and that may now be about to change, allowing reinsurers to get back into that level of coverage. The Pakistani Civil Aviation Authority said it's looking into all possible reasons for the 737 crash on Friday that killed 127 people. The head of the airline, Boa Air, has been blocked from leaving the country, the second major disaster in four years in Pakistan. Uh, the plane will not cost any aviation underwriters in London any money. They expect the loss to be as high as $60 million. Apparently, the risk was placed in the Russian insurance market. This morning, North Korea was at it again. They promised to reduce South Korea's government, quote, to ashes in less than four minutes. This is in an unusually specific escalation of recent threats. Um, they indicated that uh, special actions soon would be taken against the South Korean government that would reduce all the, quote, rat-like groups and the basis for provocations to ashes in three or four minutes or in a much shorter time by unprecedented, peculiar means and methods of our own people. Unbelievable. Now, Iran has announced that they have disconnected its oil ministry and its main crude export terminal from the internet to avoid being attacked by computer malware. This is according to an official news agency report this morning. The main terminal at Karg Island and other oil facilities came under attack from hackers but continued their work. Iran said that it's involved in a long-running technological war with the United States and Israel. They'll of course recall the Stuxnet virus. The current round of cyber attack began yesterday. The ministry and Karg Island were taken offline early this morning to prevent any further contamination. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching.